Hello there my darling dragon friends! Welcome to my channel. My name is Ariel. I am the Sassy Dragon and today we are going to be doing a review on the original Giorgio Armani My Way Eau de Parfum. This was a fragrance that was released in 2020, so this one's been around for about four years now. Um, I have smelled this before, but it's been quite a while, and just going through, you know, all the different perfumes I have and samples I have, I decided I really do need to give this one a review. Um, I also have the My Way Nectar, so I'm going to be doing a separate video reviewing that one as well. This fragrance, it's interesting enough, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on. I love the bottle on this perfume. I've never bought a full size of it. Um, I haven't smelled it really enough to decide if I want that much of it. But I love the bottle with the um, kind of, it looks almost like a tumbled gemstone, you know, it's that kind of shape and it's a very dark blue translucent on the top. Um, kind of a classic square shaped um, nice glass bottle there. But I'm going to go ahead and, and put some of this on as we talk about it because I want to see how it dries down um, as we talk about it. So this one, it's sweet, it's fresh. You definitely get that nice vanilla floral right off the bat with this one. This was created by Carlos Benham and Bruno Jovanovic. And Carlos Benham has done a couple um, of my favorites, including Dior, Dior's Pure Poison. Um, he was also one of the perfumers on Givenchy's Very Irresistible, the original and the Eau de Parfum, um, which are both two top favorites of mine of all time. Um, so he definitely has a good, uh, a good profile on his perfume work. Top notes on uh, my way are going to be the orange blossom and bergamot, which you definitely get. This is almost coming across as like one of what I call a shampoo kind of fragrance, because it to me it's it has a sweet, floral, almost fruity nature, mostly due from the bergamot. It's very juicy feeling, but it's that kind of like I, there's there's perfumes like that that remind me of of shampoo fragrances, and I always say it's really nice, really fancy shampoo, but still it's like that 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 feeling <laughs> the middle notes on this are the tuberose and indian jasmine so we definitely have that core of white floral and i'd say that's also where we're getting a little bit of that juiciness i definitely smell the tuberose in there um, and the base notes are the madagascar vanilla white musk and virginia cedar and those are not extremely heavy i am not at this point picking up really any cedar wood anything woodsy at all. This mostly stays more high octave, more mid-range. It's not a deep or heavy fragrance at all. I think when I first tried this one, for some reason my um, impression of it back then was that it was a lot fruitier than I'm smelling it now, and I think a lot of that might be because sometimes you get that tuberose that has almost like a grape or bubblegum quality about it. And so it has it has a fruitiness to it as well as that um, you know floral headiness. Tuberose is a really interesting one to me. That's a real interesting note because tuberose was specifically um, created, hybridized um, for perfume making. It is a flower that was not found in nature that they just went, gee, this is really smells great. We should make a perfume out of it. It's like, no, we're gonna make a perf make a flower. We're gonna we're gonna um, figure out how to create a flower that's just really got a nice smell that we're gonna use use it for perfume. And that's that's the story of the tuberose, um, more or less, in a nutshell. Um, but this is definitely a strong white floral. Now that I smell it again. Um, I think the fruitiness that I was picking up on it from was the bergamot the Madagascar vanilla, that, you know, and, and the juiciness of the tuberose. That was giving me that, like, very fruity floral quality to me. I, I think that's probably why I never, like, really went back to it, because this is a perfume that I feel like there are some that are quite similar, um, that have, like, that really nice, you know, juicy, bright, um, clean shampoo-like floral, white floral, 
um, you know, mixed with, the, you know, the, the brighter notes of the bergamot, the vanilla, make it a little sweeter. It's not one that stands out to me as being particularly unique. Um, and it doesn't mean that it's a bad fragrance at all. It's actually very pleasant. It, to me, like, you would smell this on someone and you'd think, yeah, you, they smell really good, right? Because it has that fresh, bright, juicy, classic white floral with the vanilla and the bergamot. Not getting a lot of musk or the cedar wood, though. That That is so, like, in the base, very, very lightly, that it's just giving it just enough roundness in the base. It's not really um, adding a whole lot of extra dimension to this blend. I would put this in the category of something like Dior's Jador. Um, I know that there's other ones that I would put this in that category. They're kind of eluding me right now, but to me... If you really love like a classic white floral that, you know, it, it, there's a little bit of it also reminds me a little bit of Givenchy's L'Entredive just because of the tuberose, but that one has a much deeper, um, darker woodsy note, so it creates a very different sort of take, but this is kind of like that without that quality. This has a lot, uh, it's a lot lighter. It's a little more solar because of the, the bergamot. Um, it's, it's really nice, I would say. I wouldn't say it's remarkable. It doesn't blow me away. It's not something that I would say is unique or revolutionary whatsoever, but it is a nice, classic white floral with the sweetness and freshness of the bergamot and vanilla added. So if that is your... Um, that is your style, you know, I would say that this one is a go-to for sure. Um... I remember this lasting decently on me, so I would say, depending on your chemistry, you're probably going to get a moderate to, you know, decently long silage where it may last, you know, anywhere from three to six, seven hours on you, depending on who you are. Everybody's a little bit different that way. But that is my take on Armani's My Way. It is a beautiful bottle. It's a beautiful classic white floral. If you're really looking for something like that, that just gives you this nice, fresh, you know, but also like a nice rich white bouquet. Very, very pretty. Um, check it out if you haven't already and tell me what you think of it below in the comments section. I always like hearing what people have to say about it. Um, also let me know, there's there's two other, there's two other my ways. Let me know if I should try to get a hold of, there's a floral one and there's also a intense. I am going to do uh, a review of the nectar right up next. So Tune into that one and I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care.